I suspect you may see her before me. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Can't I forgive you, Father? Sir, you are not welcome. Are you not Good evening, Miss Teasdale. How have you been since you returned home? Dr. Reed. Oh, thank God you returned safely from these awful streets. I was so worried about my father that I left without thanking you properly. Please don't mention it, Miss. Good. I found him, you know. My dad. Or what was left of him. I think my abductor intended to do the same thing to me. What do you do for a living, Miss Teasdale? Before my kidnapping, I was a waitress in a pub. Now I'm unemployed. Were you fired? No. It's just that after my recent experience, I don't feel like I can go back to my normal life. I need to do something useful. What do you intend to do? Dad always told me, Louise, if you want something, don't stop until you have it. I did my research and I found it. Ichabod Frogmorton, professional vampire hunter. I'll be his apprentice. Be very careful, Miss Teasdale. You are lucky to escape death once, but vampires lurk everywhere. You killed my kidnapper by yourself, didn't you? No offense, Doctor, but you're just a doctor. I don't see why I couldn't do the same. What can you tell me about this area? I've never really liked this part of town. It was where my father wanted to live. I won't remain here much longer. What exactly don't you like about it? People here are contemptuous and elitist. My dad always said, Louise, always treat people like you want them to treat you. You seem to cherish your father a great deal. Dad was the best. He kept an eye on me, but let me make my own mistakes. Louise, he used to say, mistakes are the best teacher. You would have liked him. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. That's all right. He's buried in consecrated ground now. Nothing bad can happen to him. Louise, what can you tell me about the vampire who captured you? The little fucker claimed he'd fallen in love with me. That he wanted to spend eternity with me. Not a bad idea. At least that's the way it seemed at first. Really? Did you consider accepting his proposal? Well, immortality. Not a common wedding gift, is it? I think he just wanted to have his way with me. Can vampires even fuck, Doctor? What? Um, well, I, 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 I really can't answer that. I, well, since they are creatures of blood, um, physically speaking, I suppose an erection is possible, but I... Hmm. Don't be embarrassed, Dr. Reed. I was just asking. Do you need my medical attention, miss? I don't need your help, specifically. I can assure you there are many competent doctors around. I have no doubt about it, but I'm offering you my help anyway. All right, then. But please leave me alone for now. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Nobody takes him seriously. Remember, don't let any two in this war. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep.
I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll uh, This is now my domain! You're feeble!
This is now my domain, young Ekon!
Yeah. 